Hey guys, good morning. So today's Friday. I woke up. I'm about to get ready to go into the city to meet up with Shanti and uh, another person for lunch. Um, I thought I'd do a little daily vlog getting ready with me and just um, a day in the city, if you will. So, so I'm just going to get ready now because I actually want to film another video before I leave. I want to film a Zara haul and a few reels. So kind of just have to get ready and made up very quickly. Also, a huge thanks to Claren for partnering with me today on this video. I'm going to be using their total eye lift cream today which i'm very excited to use because the one thing missing from my routine is an eye cream so the clarence total eye lift is an all-in-one eye cream and this can be found at sephora it has a ton of natural ingredients and to name a few it has shea butter natural caffeine and horse chestnut that one I'm not very familiar with, but it's natural and it's always good. So this is a complete anti-aging product. It's going to target wrinkles, crow's feet, dark circles, and also combat that puffiness that we get in the morning. Something that's great because I wake up with like a, the puffiest face ever. So very excited. When you try this out, it's important that you use it how it's recommended. I'm going to show you how to apply this product right now. So you're going to apply the product to your fingers here, and then you're going to warm it up in between your hands. It's going to activate its ingredients, which you want, right? So now we're just going to take the product and we're going to press it under the eyes, going this way. Toward the temples, right? And then we're going to take the product above our eyebrows and our eyelashes. And after that, we're going to press the center of the forehead here between the eyebrows. And this is just going to do some lymphatic drainage. So what makes the Clarence Total Eye Lift so special is that it's going to give you a visible eye lift in about 60 seconds. And I also wanted to add you guys, this product is suitable for all ages and skin types. You're never too young to start using eye cream. Prevention is always better than the cure. Again, this product is plant-based and it just melts into your skin. The formula is very nice as well and I love that it's suitable for just sensitive under eyes because mine always burn when I use certain eye cream and this is so gentle, like I don't feel a thing. I'm sure if you guys can notice, but my eyes are looking significantly smoother. I definitely think the eye cream is kicking in. Can you guys tell? Or am I crazy? Again, this product can be found at Sephora. Okay. I've already applied my sunscreen, so um, also I'm wearing my brand new pajamas that I got in from Amazon. I got the green shade, which I love. gonna film a Zara haul but I might film this tomorrow because truth be told I am not in the mood to film a Zara haul right now so um, we'll see if I feel differently in like 30 minutes or so I'll film it because I will still have enough time to do so but yeah not in the mood by the way I did get this from Zara though it's this like really nice little cosmetic pouch baggy thingy I think it's nice I also love that the interior is black so I can like use this for like makeup without seeing the makeup stains. <laughs> 
but I might not do makeup because I know that from touching it a lot the the little shirling material is gonna get dirty so still debating what I want to use it for it might just be like a toiletry bag anyways I'm gonna be packing my bag for the city I'm gonna take my stuff out of my longchamp bag which is this one here I love my longchamp bag so much you guys I have three now I have this tan color so i have this black one which you guys have seen before and then i have this like really gorgeous like brown color it's oh, so pretty so i have three long shot bags now um this is pretty much like my everyday like casual bag um so i love this one but i'm not going to be bringing this in the city i'm going to bring the chanel bag so i'm going to show you guys how i pack it so this is the long shot bag and then the chanel bag i keep in the dust bag from fashion file it's a great day today it's not rainy at all um the last time i brought this bag it was pouring rain it looks fine though so it's okay so just, just going to pack this up and to keep this bag in good shape i stuff it with this like hand towel um i don't have like a bag stuffer but when i purchased this bag from fashion file because it's it's such an old bag it's from the 90s it had some structure wear but now that i've had it for a while and i've been stuffing it consistently the structure wear is literally gone so yeah so before i pack the chanel bag i always i always pack like a mini pouch this is the mini pochette from louis vuitton because in all of my bags i bring a giant pouch with, which holds like all my emergency things so i'm going to open this and i'm going to take out a few things so I always like to take out a, oh my god, it's you, antiperspirant wipe, just in case I want to like freshen up really quickly. So that's going to go in here. I also like to bring a Advil if I get a headache or something. So this is basically the emergency pouch. Um, I'll bring a tampon. I'm not really, I don't really need one at this time, but I always bring one because, you know, as girls, you know, maybe somebody else might need one and it's good to have it. My Chanel compact mirror. Um, I like to bring my mint slash gum. I love this one from Trader Joe's. It's so strong and I love the gum. And let's see, is there anything else in here that I would like? Maybe a band-aid? So this is like a little mini version of this pouch that I love to bring in my bags at all times. Because again, you never know. And then I'm gonna bring this replica sample beach walk perfume. I love fresh scents as a travel size fragrance especially for a toiletry bag because when i freshen up i rather to smell fresh like fruity florally as opposed to like musk or like a warm scent so i love the beach walk i would never buy the full size ever but i really like the small ones i'm also going to drop a little pack of tissue in here i have allergies so i like to just make sure that i am okay on, in that regard my keys pouch here as you guys know i have the victorine wallet which i don't really carry in like the chanel bag i mean it can fit perfectly but i would rather not sacrifice that much space on a wallet that i don't need everything in so i kind of just go through the wallet and i pick out my cards or whatever card i want to use grab some cash and this basically just sits at home and i carry my key clay which i have to bring with me anyways by the way i cannot wait to switch this out for a normal one i hate prints now so i really want to get the maybe the ysl one it's black and simple i don't know very into ysl lately so i'm just gonna drop this in here and i also have all my cards and a few receipts and stuff as well but yeah this is going to be my wallet for the day i'm also going to bring a pack of wet wipes and then this is my airpod and this just fits in here you guys my face mask also just sits on top and hand sanitizer just fits on top yeah that's pretty much it for how i pack the bag that's pretty much all that can fit for now okay, so i'm all dressed for the city and i did not plan to wear all my let me just say that I was gonna wear jeans and everything, but I decided to just wear something a little bit nicer. And as you guys know, I got these blazers in from Yes Style in my last vlog or a vlog that you guys saw me do another day ago. So I really wanted to wear it. Hey 
Hey guys, so I made it to the city. I'm in the cab right now. I took a cab to Soho because with my outfit, I just don't want to risk like just too many movements. So subway to subway and all of that. It's also really, really cold and I'm not appropriately dressed, which is so funny because I knew this was gonna happen, but it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Um, it's currently, where's my phone? My phone being in this phone case because it's so dark and neutral, I feel like I can never find it. <laughs> so yeah, it's 11.53, I'm about, I don't know how far, actually let me check. From here to about 15 minutes away, so hmm, not too bad. Just wrapped lunch and we're heading to and other stories. It's such to a cute little spot. Such a cute spot. So we're gonna oh, have nice. hop in really quickly. We do need our face mask. Yes. So <laughs> um, we're gonna just hop in really quickly. But yeah, let's go. And I've never been to the store, so I'm very excited. Let me get my mask though before they yell at me. Yeah, let me get my mask. It's golden hour, so it's like very yellow and orange. But I didn't have a chance to say goodbye to Sean C on camera because the brand is going to pull the campaign and <laughs> that cannot happen. I might see her tomorrow, which I hope I can um, because I do have to be in the city anyways for my laser appointment that I've been constantly putting off. But um, I don't know. I'll let you guys know. Everybody's like staring at me vlogging, but I can't really see people's faces because sun is like bright so I can't see so it's kind of helping me right now but um, I'm gonna get home and I'm going to edit my darn video and get it up and it's annoying because it's only four o'clock and I'm literally back home no plans tonight and Shanti actually she's gonna be in the city for dinner and there's a show going on that she invited me to but I couldn't go because I had to come home <sighs> annoying but yeah I'm just, just gonna go home, call it a night, I guess, relax, um, see what I get up to. I forgot to show you guys this coat that I purchased in the city. It's from And Other Stories. I kind of love it. I love that it's so long. I don't own a long coat. Um, it might be too long though. I might have it um, cut a little bit, but I feel like when I'm in heels, it's gonna be appropriate, but um, yeah. <laughs> 